excision of scrotal paget disease, and scrotoplasty with rotational flap. Extramammary paget disease is an uncommon intraepithelial adenocarcinoma of sites bearing apocrine glands. This occurs in locations such as the scrotum, vulva, and perianal areas. Diagnosis is achieved with the biopsy revealing paget cells, and treatment includes wide local surgical excision or Mohs micrographic surgery. In 10 to 30% of cases, extramammary paget disease is associated with a second concurrent malignancy. The location of the underlying malignancy is often related to the location of the disease. In the case of scrotal extramammary paget disease, this can be associated with urethral, bladder, and rectal cancers. For this reason, the workup includes cystourethroscopy, colonoscopy, and CT scan of the abdomen and pelvis. We present a case of a 74-year-old male who presented with erythema of the scrotum for one year. He had no improvement with topical steroids. A punch biopsy with dermatology revealed extramammary paget disease. His metastatic workup was negative. A preoperative photo of his scrotum is shown to the right. In this video, we will demonstrate our surgical technique for excision of scrotal paget disease, followed by reconstruction. The patient was placed in a supine position and prepped and draped in a sterile fashion. We began by marking our surgical incision, ensuring a 0.5 centimeter margin. We then injected local anesthesia. We made our incision using a number 15 blade. We then deepened our incision and began excising our specimen using a combination of the 15 blade and Bowie electrocautery. We were careful to stay in a superficial plane above the tunica vaginalis. We used an alice clamp to assist with retraction and help with the dissection. Once the specimen was excised, it was sent to pathology for analysis. Using Bovi electrocautery, we achieved good hemostasis. We then began planning our closure. The defect measured 9 cm by 9 cm. Given the large size, we decided to plan for a rotational flap and scrotoplasty for closure. We mobilized the scrotal skin by using a combination of electrocautery and Metz and Baum scissors. Once the scrotal skin was adequately freed, we began by marking the skin incision for our rotational flap. We then incised the skin using a number 15 blade and electrocautery. Using Alice clamps, we marked our planned closure. We then used temporary staples to reapproximate the skin to assist with our closure. The Alice clamps were removed. We trimmed any excess skin using Metz and Baum scissors. Once again, we achieved hemostasis. We then began to close the incision. First, we closed the deep dartos layer using forovicral suture in an interrupted fashion. Once the deep dartos layer was completed and the skin was reapproximated, we removed our temporary staples. We then closed the skin using foromonocryl suture in an interrupted fashion. We continued to place suture until all of the gaps in the skin were closed. The surgical procedure was successful and no short-term complications were observed. The patient recovered without issues and this is a photo of his scrotum at his three-month post-operative visit. 
The final pathology revealed extramammary Paget disease with microscopic foci of superficially invasive carcinoma. All margins of resection were negative for invasive carcinoma. Thank you for your time and we hope you enjoyed this video.